Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from Psalms 105, verse 1. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. We have so much to be thankful for. Sometimes we don't feel like we need to give thanks to the Lord, but we truly do. We know we have ups and downs and trials and tribulations and pains and suffering. And even through those things, we should give thanks to the Lord because these are the things that bring us closer to the Lord. These are the things that makes us strong. We know that the actions of people are just not right, that what is right and what is wrong is right and what is right is wrong. We know that the hearts of people in this world, their hearts have just gone cold for the Lord. We can see it every day. We can feel it. We just know it. But for us, God truly continues to bless us and protect us. So when we are feeling these things, call upon his name. This is the answer and solution to everything. Give thanks and call upon his name. Make your petition, make everything that's troubling you. Tell it to the Lord, truly. Just speak it out to him. This is what he wants us to all to do. We don't hold it in. We don't keep it to ourselves. We don't. We just call upon him. And the Lord will give us comfort. He will give us peace. He will be there. I believe sometimes he's just waiting for us to just call upon him. Isaiah 12 verse 4 it says, and in that day you will say, praise the Lord. Call upon his name, declare his deeds among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. We all have to be able to just remember the Lord. We have to make the Lord the Lord of our lives. We have to put him first. We have to just acknowledge him. We can't have any other idols before him. We can't put anything other other things and put for him. We have to be totally and completely surrendered. Can we do these things on our own? No, I don't think we can. But we can ask God to help us do it. And I know he will. I know his deeds are great. I mean, his deeds, his actions, his things that he's done for us. We can all see them. There's evidence of everything that God has blessed us with. It tells us how we need to live, how we need to just not be afraid of anyone. The word truly says, do not fear man. What can man do to you? Nothing. We can always make mention of his name and exalt him. And we should, on a daily basis, give thanks to the Lord. And in First Chronicles 16, 8, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Confirmation. Confirmation. When we hear see something twice, that's confirmation. So we can see how this world is crumbling, but it's not time yet. Only God knows the time he's going to come. And things have to happen before. Things have to get worse than they are now before the Lord comes. Sadly enough, we all have to witness it unless the Lord decides to take us before but if not, we have to witness these things. But it's nothing for us to be stressing over or worried about or concerned about. 
but it's all just for us to just pray and call upon the name of the Lord and give it all to him. That's all that we need to do. And trust in him and have faith in him, knowing that he knows exactly what's best. He knows exactly what he's doing. We know that, you know, his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. And we sometimes we just truly don't understand what God is doing and why God is allowing all these things to happen. But as one of the sisters said, there's a purpose and there's a reason. There's always. And it's okay if we don't know it. That doesn't still doesn't change the fact that we still don't believe it and we don't know it and that he's doing it. And he's allowing these things to happen. The reason I believe he allows these things to happen because they bring people to him. And praise the Lord for that. But we need to always remember today to give thanks and call upon his name. Isaiah 12, 4 says, And in that day you will say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his deeds among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Today we exalt the name of the Lord. We give glory and honor and praise to you. Psalms 106 verse 1, it says, Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We give you, truly give you honor and glory and day and praise this morning. We call upon your name to just help us in our times of need. You've heard our prayers this morning. You know what we need. You know we need healing and comforting. We know we need you to fight our battles and to right the wrongs that's been done to us. And we just need to just hear from you. And we need you to protect us and bless us. And we surrender all of these things to you today. And we give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all and have a wonderful, cool day in the Lord.